Have you ever been in a relationship where you gave somebody the benefit of the doubt over and over again, only to have that person hurt you? I know I have. I used to be the queen of the benefit of the doubt. And whether it's at the start of dating, when you're first connecting, or when you're already in a relationship, giving someone the benefit of the doubt is often the wrong thing to do. Why do we do it and how do we stop? That's what I'm talking about today. What is the benefit of the doubt? First, let's define it according to the Oxford Dictionary. The benefit of the doubt is an acceptance that a person is truthful or innocent if the opposite cannot be proved. So let's focus on the last part of that definition. Innocent if the opposite cannot be proven. If we can't prove that somebody has bad intent, we can let things slide. And while it's healthy to see the world as a friendly place rather than believing everybody's out to get you, it's also important to get curious when something feels off. Let's talk about why we give people the benefit of the doubt. Here are four reasons. Number one, you struggle to recognize and validate your own feelings and opinions. Maybe you grew up in a home where people constantly told you you were wrong, your feelings didn't matter, and you don't trust those feelings. Number two, you don't want to see the truth because it would possibly cause the relationship to end. Number three, you don't trust yourself. And that goes back to point number one. You stop trusting yourself because everybody constantly told you that you shouldn't trust yourself. You should trust me, trust society, trust the media. Number four, you want the fairy tale ending so you ignore all the red flags. You dismiss them. Not that important. Let's look at how doubt shows up in dating and relationships. It shows up before you meet, it shows up after a few dates, and it shows up in a relationship. Let's go to before you even meet. When you're meeting somebody online, you're messaging them, and he stops texting you for a few days. You start to wonder what's going on, but maybe you give him the benefit of the doubt. When he asks for your number and then you don't hear from him, do you give him the benefit of the doubt? Do you do something to remind him whether he's going to call or not? And number three, when he sends messages about your looks, but he doesn't address anything unique to you, do you give him the benefit of the doubt? Or do you continue messaging him for a while? And this is what a lot of people do. Now, what happens after a few dates when he doesn't message or call between dates? You start to wonder what's going on. Do you give him the benefit of the doubt? When he pushes for sex too soon, do you give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe he's just more sexual than you? Or do you have a conversation about it? Number three, when he talks about himself too much on dates, do you give him the benefit of the doubt that he's just nervous or do you write him off? And the last part is when you're in a relationship, when he doesn't notice when you're sad or having a hard time, he doesn't feel like he has empathy. Do you give him the benefit of the doubt or do you address it? When he doesn't initiate sex anymore, he doesn't seem to be interested. Do you give him the benefit of the doubt that he's just having a hard time or do you talk it out? When he's busy at work or going through a crisis and he pays less attention to you, do you give him the benefit of the doubt that he's just busy and he will come back or do you have a conversation? I encourage you to initially give a man the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise. Rule him in until he rules himself out. But if the same thing keeps happening over and over again, such as he's always talking about himself, he's never asking you questions, he doesn't include you in conversations, even after you have told him that it's important to you, or he's overly critical or controlling, that's a deal breaker. Walk away from that relationship. Pay attention to the early signs when a man is not consistent, a man whose words and actions don't match. It's a red flag when somebody doesn't follow through over and over again. And I would say, give him one chance to prove that this is not a pattern. But more than two times, that's a pattern. Look for signs that a man is caring and trustworthy, honest and reliable. If you are truly ready to go on your last first date, look for those qualities and don't give the benefit of the doubt to men who lack the character traits that are important to you in finding lasting love.